Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Lloyd Buster. This is the place where you get your motivation and your inspiration and the calibration for your destination. Question, how can one think that in the infinite reaches of the universe, there's not enough good to go around? Somebody has to go without. I think a lot of people look at life as this kind of majestic roulette wheel that decides who's going to be favored and who's going to be forgotten. Look, the only one forgotten is the one who forgets about him or herself. Uh, we forget about our divine parentage. We forget about the aristocracy of our inherited qualities. We forget about the enormity of possibilities that are available to us and that we were born in. You say, born in? Absolutely, because this, you know, the Holy Scripture says that we were fearfully and wonderfully made. I do know a lot of people who kind of look at their life as an accident or a consequence. I've met a lot of young people who feel that way. Uh, I've talked to them. They said, well, Lloyd, I'm here because uh, I'm the result of a guy and a gal meeting at a bar and having drinks one night and uh, overcome with passion, and I'm the result of that. Look, I don't care how you got here. The important thing is, is that you're here. You and I have been given an incredible gift. It's called the gift of individuality and the power of personal decision making. I remember when I made the decision to take the frontiers of my mind and move them away from the confining pettiness of small thinking and take my thoughts and my dreams and my visions and set them among the stars because that's where I belong and that's where you belong. And then I begin to work with life. I've caught up with life. And I, I looked and I observed and boy, life became my workshop. Life became my laboratory. It became my playground. You'll find your place in the grand scheme of things if you really believe that there's a place for you. Because it's virtually impossible to find something if you don't believe that that something exists. Because we usually see what's in our minds. All too often, we spend 15 minutes in constructive thinking and then the rest of the day tearing that good thinking down. We say, the world is my oyster, I'm going to attack with success. We say, nothing is going to interfere with my progress. And then two minutes later, we're thinking, this can't happen, that can't happen until this happens. Have you ever noticed uh, how we invest the most trivial circumstances and situations with the power to stop the movement of your mind? The mind is an irresistible force and when it's called upon, it calmly penetrates your situation. It penetrates that material condition and shapes it to suit itself. The other thing you're going to find, you're going to find that the things that you thought were insurmountable odds and barriers against you don't even count in the final solution of the problem. You don't take a shopping list to the store of life. Your order has already been filled. The plan has already been written and it's inherent in your existence. If you will face life with the proper attitude, the proper energy and the right faith, something better than what you have planned for yourself is going to occur. Don't forget to like my channel, Subscribe, we've got more good things to share.